All right, guys, this is what we're gonna show you guys how to make right here. Some delicious meatloaf. Ooh, look at that, with the egg in the middle. Take a little bite here. Show you guys how it came out. Oh yeah. Stay tuned, we're gonna show you guys how to make this right now. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. To the recipe portion of our channel, guys, today my wife is going to show you guys a very special recipe. How to make meatloaf. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Her meatloaf and is super delicious, guys. So. Everybody does it different, but mine is super moist, so. Yeah. Yeah, you guys have to try it. So let, let me turn the camera around so we can see what we're going to do here. Okay, so for your ingredients, guys, what you're going to need is some onion powder, garlic powder. You're gonna need black pepper, salt. You're gonna need one potato. You're gonna need one raw egg, a can of tomato sauce, some chopped onions. And in the place of crackers, I would usually use saltine or unsalted crackers, but I don't have any, so I'm, I um, smashed up some animal crackers. So that's gonna take the place of the Mm. Saltine crackers, so, so yeah, and then, oh, I'm sorry, and then you need about, this is about three pounds of ground beef, that's your main ingredients, so this is about three pounds of ground beef, and I'm going to fill my meatloaf with egg, because that's what my husband likes mm -mm -mm. in his meatloaf, so. Love it. so anyways, let's get started, so first I'm going to go ahead and season my meat. I don't measure, guys, but if I were to give you measurements, I would say it's probably about two, ta two tablespoons of each garlic salt and onion powder, okay? This is important, right, babe? Yep. And then... You have to um, season it. Definitely yeah. have to season it. Pepper, it's to your liking. Um, I like pepper, so I put about one tablespoon of pepper. And then salt... Probably about two tablespoons of salt, maybe one and a half. Yeah. Um, and then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my my onions. And this is probably about I would say a half a cup of onions. Yeah. Four three pounds of of um ground beef. Half a cup of onions. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grate my my potato inside, so we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And for those of you guys that are wondering about the about the egg, the egg just goes in hole in the middle. So after she forms her, you're gonna see right now. Hello, when you, when you cut into your meatloaf and you get a piece of egg. Mm, mm, mm. The thing that makes this meatloaf different than other meatloafs I've made before is that um, is the, the whole egg that I put in it, the raw egg, and the tomato sauce. That's what makes it moist. That's what yeah. gives it moisture, a lot of moisture. It doesn't come out dry. Yeah, it doesn't come out dry. Because I've made meatloafs before where they're, you know, a little bit too dry. So. It's like a big burger. <laughs> yeah. All right, so after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and put that aside. And then go ahead and make a little thing. I'm gonna go ahead and add, so you add all of your ingredients all at one time, guys. Don't make it hard for yourself. One whole egg. One whole egg, and then the last thing is the crackers. And the cracker, if you guys are using like regular crackers, um, I did about, I did about eight crackers, like um, whole crackers, if you guys are using saltine or unsalted crackers, I did about eight of them. So these are animal crackers, like I said, so. Might change its taste a little bit, huh? Because it's a sweeter cracker. Yeah, it's a sweeter cracker. But it's okay though. 
It'll be different. It still tastes good. We have another recipe that we use um, for the breading. Yeah, we actually and it we actually really good. yeah we actually break up those animal crackers to have them for breading. That's what we that's what we buy them for. Yeah. And we make uh, chuletas. Mm. We're gonna make that soon again. This too. is like so easy, you guys. It's like the easiest thing to make. Anybody could do it. Men, you could do this. If you get home before your wife mm -hmm. from work, you could just put it together real quick. By the way, I preheated my oven to 300. That's what you're going to cook the meatloaf um, on. Go ahead and add the rest of my tomato sauce. I kind of withheld some of the tomato sauce for towards the end. Okay. And then you just mix everything together. And you're gonna quickly see the change of consistency with the meat. There's a little bit of everything in there, huh? Mm-hmm. A little bit of everything. So you guys do it to your liking. That's just what we put in ours. You could add more stuff. Like you I've seen people put celery. Um, I mean, tomatoes, cake, carrots, um, people put all kinds of stuff in the, in their meatloaf and it's all good. So I'm going to go ahead and make my, I'm going to transfer into my pan. And then I'm going to go ahead and start forming my meatloaf. This is like the funnest part for me. I don't know why. It's like Play-Doh. Yeah. Got to form it first. And then I'll show you what you're going to do in order to put your eggies inside. I never made it with eggs before. I know my husband loves the eggs inside of it. And that's why I upped my, upgraded my recipe. And then now that now that we've you, she introduced it to the to the rest of the family, they love it too. So yeah, they love it. When he first told me about it, I was like, "Well, I, I put a raw egg," and he was like, "No, no, you have to put like hard boiled eggs. So when you cut it, you cut into the you get a piece of egg." I get it. I get it. It's so like you little, just it's like a little bonus, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just gonna form it to look like a meatloaf. You just keep patting. The heat of your hands is the one that always works meat, guys. So when you're making meatballs, um, lazy street tacos, the heat of your hands is what kind of works the meat into place. So doing that, I'm going to go ahead and see how many eggs I can fit in here. And I'm just going to do that by using my index finger and my thumb and kind of separating the middle of the meatloaf. Just like that. Making like a little um, swimming little, pool. Little crevice right there. Yeah. Little, we call it a hard boiled crevice. <laughs> Big Al calls it hard boiled deliciousness. Ooh. Cause he loves this stuff. Okay. So here we go. My eggs look pretty weird guys. I'm sorry. Looks like we're going to get probably four eggs to fit. That's good enough. Mm -hmm. That way when you slice it, you slice it sideways and you'll, you'll always get a piece of egg. And then you just cover the eggs and reshape it. Just fix it up. It's weird because you would think I would think the egg would cook more in the in the oven when this is baking, and it really doesn't, huh, babe? No, it just comes out like a hard-boiled egg in the middle. Mm -hmm. Then you just slice right into it. You get a piece of meat and a piece of egg. We'll show you guys. We'll show you guys when we when we serve it up. All right, guys. Ooh, that looks good. 
So you just form it <clears throat> one last time. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit more salt to the top and a little bit more pepper. I love salt and pepper, guys, if you guys haven't realized. Okay. Me, me too. And that's it. And you literally are going to put this in the oven at 300 degrees um, for 40 minutes. And at the 40 minute mark, you're going to come check your meatloaf. I'll show you how to tell when it's done. And then you're going to add the barbecue sauce on top and leave it in the oven for another 8 to 10 minutes. Okay. All right. So 40 minutes? Yeah. Let me set the timer. If you have a portable timer or timer on your oven, I'm gonna do 40 minutes, start. Mm. And there it is, guys. Shall return. Okay, so after 40 minutes, this is what your meatloaf should look like. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. And at this point, all you're gonna do is add your barbecue sauce. Whoa. Crunch it. We love barbecue sauce here, guys. Yep. So, and then you're gonna put it back in the oven for 10 more minutes. And it's gonna be completely done. All right, we shall return. Ooh, looks delish, babe. It does, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at this one. Show them. See, guys, that's why you want an egg in the middle. That way, you get your slice. Every slice is gonna have. Where the looks. <laughs> every slice gets a piece of egg. These might fall apart. Yeah, I know. <coughs> the last ones did that too, mom. Hey, off. Huh? Off, off, babe. Delicious meatloaf. Ooh, look at that with the egg in the middle. Take a little bite here. I'll show you guys how it came out. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned. We're going to show you guys how to make this right now.